Hi, right, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be a how to maybe repair a speed right 980. This is an old school unit. This is, uh, they made a couple variations of this unit. They've uh, had the Panther uh, 9800, had SM 980, SM 900, the 980, like this one. All of them are basically the same. The boards might be look, look a little different, uh, but they're basically all the same. I mean, they did make a 220 version, which I think, no, this is 110 volt. Unit. So they did make, I think, the early ones back, like the 80s, early 90s, were 220 volt here. But we're going to get this thing, see what we can do. This is uh, our information. All this stuff is down below our website, fencerfixer.com. And you also work on cattle scales and low bars for as well. But we're working on all brands of these things, and and we're going to see what we can do to get this thing going. So we're going to. He did buy a, because uh, he tried to fix it himself, but didn't have any luck. He did buy a uh, capacitor from Zariba, a 50 microfarad capacitor, just to try in them, and it didn't fix anything. So he said, here. So he said, I'm going to send it to you, let you play with it. <coughs> oh, power, it's getting power. The light's coming on, but this light's not clicking and flashing. So we have something wrong with it. So he sent the capacitor on for the ride just to see if i needed it i could use it if i didn't if it didn't need it he just said send it back i guess so we'll just send it back if we don't need it come on yeah. a lot of parts discontinued for this unit you can still get capacitors that will work in it transformers are obsolete boards are obsolete but to get the right person working on them we can retrofit transform different transformers thing. We can you know replace capacitors if need be. We can repair the boards if need be. They've got you know they're old school electronics, so if you know what you're doing, you can replace capacitors and transformers and stuff. So let's see, these two capacitors got them kind of taped in here. It looks like they are uh, 30 microfarad capacitors. So let's plug one wire they're tied together and they'll add up and they're wired in parallel but we're going to test across here there's no polarity to them all right test your capacitor look at you, if you got a multimeter some meters can test capacitor some can't but look at this little symbol right above my yellow finger or yellow symbol right above my finger is a symbol for a capacitor if you're that's what you need this is these are 30 microfarad 900 volt that's reading 22 That's read nothing at all, so this capacitor is no good. So let's get these two capacitors out. And he did, um, he had two of these units. And he, we fixed the other one earlier, so now we're going to work on this one. But what we'll do is, the other one we put a new capacitor in it as well. But since he sent one of these capacitors along, we'll just use this one. So this is only, this is one big capacitor. So there's no rhyme or reason which wire goes where. So we're gonna put a Zariba transformer into a speed right unit. So I can sit right there. But here I'll plug it in real quick just to see if it makes a difference. It probably shouldn't, but we'll try. No, it still didn't click. Okay, so let's pull this board out. Alright, this has got, uh, this version's got three fuses on it. Got one up top here, which I think is your main fuse, I think. And it's got a couple of other ones down here, so let's check the fuses real quick. That's good. 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 Alright, uh, next thing I want to do is I'll check all these diodes. That's another thing that can go bad. That's good. 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 Oh, that resistor right there is blown. That's a uh, I don't know what size that is, but that's um, that's part of the, I think the system for uh, for this light bulb. But I don't know. So we'll have to change that eventually. Um, let's check this uh, SCR. It's another common thing to go bad over time. Uh, at, 
and SCR is probably no good. Let's check these four big diodes right here. That's a another common thing that can go bad. So they, they do have a polaris. We gotta test them a certain way. That's no good. That's no good. That one's good. That one's good. So these two dials right here are bad. And I think this is bad too. Let's check this other little dial sitting right here next to it. Uh, it's bad. I can really see it's got a crack in it. It's, it's burned in half. So we've got to change out this, this, and those two. And then that too. We need to find out what size resistor that is. I've got another six. Huh? That, that's normal. That's for that for that with that transformer. Okay, I'm gonna test this resistor here. Two, two straps. Oh, they're right here. And here's a few. Check this resistor. See what size it is. Looks about a 1k ohm resistor, which that's pretty common. We should be able to uh, change that out. So we'll find a resistor here for it in a minute. All right, so we need one, two, three, four. Oh, no, just three. Three. Those two and that one. I'm gonna put a bigger one and place that little one. Da, 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 da. Let me go get a SCR for this one. those two resistors right or those two diodes right there just to make sure k resistors and our wire on parallel because I don't have 100k or 1k in this stack of resistors here so we're going to have to wait a minute 1k resistor right there I don't see it on the list here wait. oh yeah it's right there so there's a 1k resistor right there so that's what we're going to put So that's what I'm going to put right there. So I don't forget which way it goes in. We're doing. Okay, it's going to go like that. Oh, 
Oh yeah, when that shows Esther shows up. He's like, you can come over anytime. Fix leak under the sink. <laughs> won't shut on it. Take SSCR, bend the middle leg out a little bit, and then bend it down. On like that. These two diodes here go in a certain way. solder joints on there for the those, these two over here and actually four right here but I just need two on the left Okay, now we'll do that resistor there. Pretty regular, easy deal to change. This doesn't fix it, then we gotta dig a little deeper and it could just be could be something else wrong, but this is the most common things to change in it based on what it was doing and what we were testing. So we're headed in the right direction so far. Alright, let's solder all this up now. Thank you. 
All right, snip off all the excess. if we made any headway with it. Let's things plugged in right we're supposed to. Alright, let's plug it in and watch for the smoke. He was still clicking as I was after I'd already. So we might have something else going on, but it's working and clicking again. It's a good sign. Okay, there's these little diodes that are hiding in between these capacitors. I forgot about these are part. This thing kind of builds up in, in stages on these orange capacitors, and there's a diode in there that protects all of them. And if maybe one of the diodes went bad, it's discharging faster because it's only going through, say, half the half of the uh, capacitor versus all of them. We'll do a uh, voltage check here in a minute. Let's check the transformer primary side first. Should be zero to one ohms. Zero point three should be like uh, five or six. Five point seven. Okay. I'm check down the diodes and check them all. Let's check this one here. I think we already did. Let's check it again. Okay. Another one there. Let's check. That one's good. There's another, oops, another diode here. I don't think I checked that one. Maybe I did. Let's just see what happens. Let me, let me plug this back in. Maybe I'm just maybe I think it's clicking fast when it's when this is fine. I don't know. Uh, let's. Uh, hey, what time is it, Dad? Three. This light's flashing again. It's flashing over there. So let's let's uh, let's put this pass room like that, just temporarily put in like this. thousand volts let's get a uh, plug it for a second let's put put that across there and then we'll take a 500 ohm load 100 watt, 500 ohm load. I'm gonna stick it across there and see if it holds the load like it's supposed to. Should, if it's reading nine there, if it's the size, probably five to seven, I would guess. So this is about right. Let's um. 
just do a spark jump just to kind of see what kind of spark it'll throw. Let me take this knob off. Plug it back in. Kind of spark it'll throw. Yeah, she's a hell of a spark out of it. Camera doesn't do it justice. Well, this one's done. I'm gonna call it call it down. I'm gonna open it back up here in a minute and get that password kind of in place a little more permanently. And we'll also put the heat sink back on there on that SCR. Other than that, we're gonna call it done and get this thing fixed up and back to the guy. So if you've got a need for a fence chart needs to be worked on, speed ride or any other brand of model, hit us up. Be happy to work on one for you. We do get free quotes. And if this had been sent to anybody else, even speed right directly or true test or data mars, whatever you want to call them now, uh, they don't make any boards for these things. They don't do board level work, I don't think. And uh, they were just told you, sorry, hey, you got a bad board, can't fix it, throw it away and buy another one. They just, they don't want to fix these old things. They want you to buy, you know, a new one. A new one of this size is like a nine to ten joule unit. So a uh, speed right six thousand is smaller. It's about three fifty, three eighty, somewhere in that range for a new one. And a uh, speed right twelve thousand, which is bigger, strength strength wise, uh, they're about seven hundred, six hundred, eight hundred. They're they're not cheap, so. To fix this one's pretty relatively cheaper to fix, of course. So, we'll be happy to help you out. So, until next time, see you later.